him in a couple of weeks. Jeff Stevenson is here from the Imagination Station, and we are talking flames today. Jeff, good morning. We are talking flames today, but we are more importantly talking about waves. So what I brought along to kind of show a simple version of this is a slinky. It's something you can do at home if you want to talk about waves. And Chris, can you go ahead and just kind of go up and down and send a wave towards me? And you can see it'll hit me and then bounce back at you. It so certainly does. It's a transfer we've, of energy. We've played with a slinky before. Yeah, you know yeah. how these work. Yeah, you're like, forth, you, can kind of, you can kind of figure that out, right? right? But what's really cool is if you get just the right timing, like right as it's bouncing off of you, mm -hmm. I send another one. Okay. You can get what's called a standing wave. And that's when the wave looks like it's just standing still. It's still transferring energy between me and you, but it looks like it's standing still. And Oscillating you, back and forth. Yeah, exactly. And you can get more like you could do one big standing wave or you could do you know, two smaller standing waves, just like that. Now, what I brought along, I'll go ahead and take this slinky because slinkies are fun, but when we have flames, uh, <laughs> you know, we can uh, do, do a little bit more. So why don't you go ahead and don some safety gear okay. while uh, I, I go ahead and uh, kind of explain my tube here. I brought this flame tube and what it basically is is a big pipe that has lots of little holes drilled into it in which propane is coming through and kind of like a, a, a gas burner grill. So that's what's fueling our flame. So it's fueling our flame. And what we're going to do is I have a speaker right here is we're going to send some energy kind of like when we whip that slinky. We're going to send some sound energy here to compress um, the air inside of there and make some waves. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, let's, let's give it a shot. So let's see it, but not only see it. But let's hear it. Let's hear right? it. So I'll go ahead and kind of put up my volume here a little bit. And as you can see, let me get down to a nice good tone. Perfect. You can see that just like in that slinky, we have these standing waves. And we can actually measure the distance between these peaks or between the gaps. And that can tell us a lot of information about that noise that you're hearing, about that frequency, that tone. How is this working? Um, <laughs> well, how it's working is the sound is going through this tube, all right, and it's compressing the air. That's actually how we hear things. Okay. It's just compressed air being transferred. And different amounts of compression are causing different peaks. Now, dare in my I way. say the sound which is invisible to sight is going through this pipe in a wave form? Yes. Yes, it is, but it's okay. more of a compression wave gotcha. like being pushed onto the next one. We won't one. get too technical. We won't get too right? technical here today. We just like to look at cool things. We just too. like to look at cool things. And you can do that. I mean, I'm using some very pure tones right now. Um, I mean, you can go ahead and try that out if you want to whisk it around. You can see that you can get lots of cool standing waves from these pure tones. Looks very cool. But you can also, I'm going to shut you off here for a sec. Oh, uh, I know, it's just okay, Chris. Going. <laughs> you can also play around with the mic, too. So it will pick up any sound. It just won't give you those nice, neat noises quite as well. So if I go, <laughs> something like that, you want to give it? I'm not musically talented. No, it's, it's okay, no, it's okay, uh, Chris. I'll, uh, I'll break an eardrum if, uh, if I do that. That's very cool, though, so it responds directly to... To, to, to really any, noise. any noise, and it gives those kind of uh, chaotic waves that you see. Um, but what's kind of cool is if you do a song, you can get like the, the, all the different instruments mixing together. So I'll go ahead and I'll put a song on, and we'll see, maybe, maybe you'll recognize it. Let's see if we can't get it going. Oh. Hold on. I'm here. I'm here I, with you, I'll Chris. Don't worry. I'll give you. I'll give you the you, time you can that give you me, need, I, my I, friend. For for science, it always ends up waiting, right? So I'll go ahead and kind of pump up my flame here a little bit. And maybe you recognize the song. It's a little bit of Bach. A little classical music. Yeah, yeah, a little or Beethoven. I mean Bach. <laughs> Let's see if I can't get. Oh. And these aren't nice, neat standing waves because we're not listening to just a flute playing, right? right? We're not listening to just a violin. We're listening to all those instruments kind of stacking. And at certain points, they might match up. And you can see there's definitely some peak compression waves going on. You know what? There's Trans-Siberian Orchestra and there's Jeff from the Imagination Station. Well, so uh, well, you can't go wrong, can I, you? I appreciate it. I appreciate it. But um, this is uh, some of the cool stuff you can see at Imagination Station. And this is science for you. And you can only find it at the Imagination Station. Uh, this weekend, as we get into the holiday season, you guys have things going on. Uh, talk about this Saturday. Well, this Saturday, um, we're doing our drop and shop event at Levis Commons. And what that is, is you can come to Levis Commons, get all your Christmas shopping done, you know, um, kind of get all those uh, Christmas gifts done with the kids and things like that. And Meanwhile, they can be doing some really cool science activities with us. Um, we're doing, it's engineering elves is the theme. So uh, 
come check it out. All right, man, you uh, brought us some music, you brought us some fun, you brought us some science today, so we appreciate you stopping by. Of course. And again, that uh, is this Saturday for the parents to shop and drop. Coming up on Toledo's only live local 9 a.m. show, we are live.